Hi, how are you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to darken a background using Photoshop and Lightroom. So I'm going to reset this, bring it back to the start and walk you through the process. So I'm going to open this up in Photoshop. So I'm going to right click and select editing and then Adobe Photoshop. And then from here, I am going to select the object selection tool. So I'm going to click on that. It's the top one there and it's finding the object. You can see it's whirling up here, finding the object. So it's doing everything for us. So I'm just going to click on the horse that I want. It's going to select that horse and then I'm going to select and mask. And then I'm going to select refine hair. And what this is going to do is obviously refine the hair. You can see there it's done a really, really good job of just bringing all the detail out of where these hairs are here. Now, we still have a pretty jagged edge, so we want to take care of that. But at the same time, we are going to be darkening that edge, so I'm not too worried about that. So let's come to the right-hand side, and we want to think about the smart radius. So we want to select that just because that's going to give us um, a little bit of a, a better detection around the edge. So we can push this up and you'll see what it does. It starts to push up and it just starts to help with these lines. You can see there it's just snapped away. So that's really, really helped. So depending on your image, you can push this, pull this, depending on what you want. You can also smooth the edges. You can feather them. You can add more contrast and you can also shift edge. So shift edge is going to shift the particular edge that we've already selected. So we can in fact go further into the image or we can go further out depending on which way you go. So we can feather it if we want to. That will give us a little bit of a softer edge. That can help sometimes as well. And we can also smooth that out. So what you want to do is just play around with these particular sliders and, and depending on your image it will uh, it will give you different results so if you want to select areas like you may have missed like up here you can come up to the quick selection tool which is the um, tool to then just quickly select areas that you may have missed you can also select the refine edge brush and you can go around the edges and just make them a little bit smoother so you can click from the inside of the subject and then out and that will then make a better selection around these areas here. So once we're happy with that, come up to the output two and then select new layer with layer mask and then select OK. And you can see now we've got a cutout of our horse here and we can see there is the mask. So what we want to do is come down to the bottom, click on the add a new layer and then we're going to select down here. We're going to select solid color and we're going to select black and press OK. And then what we want to do is change the blend mode. And you'll see that when we come down to lighten, then our subject will appear. And that gives us a perfect black background. Now, again, we can look at this and it's not a bad selection. It's OK, it's workable. So now we've got that, let's select the brush tool, make sure we're on black. We want to make sure that we are on the background copy layer and then we start blending these areas. So let's have a look at the back end of the horse here. So what I want to do is blend this so it looks like the black is coming and it's and it's fading onto the horse. So come up to the brush here, make sure you've got a soft brush. Hardness is set to 0%. So if I start brushing, you'll see that that's quite harsh. So if I bring the flow down, you can see it's not as harsh. So we can bring the opacity down as well, bring that down. Now the other thing is, is that if you make the brush bigger, that will give you a softer, um, a softer look. And then what we want to do is just start painting in. So what I'm focusing on is the, the harsh line there. And it's all about blending the horse to that, to that line. So I'm just going around them areas. I can make the brush a little bit smaller and I'm doing circles. So circles as when you, uh, when you use a pencil, is the best way to to blend shades so we're just going to go around in circles until that's blended in and again we can change the opacity and the flow as we need to and i recommend you, you do that and experiment with it so you keep going 
and you'll see that it's just starting to blend that back area in now so we're almost we're almost getting rid of uh, some of the back end of the horse there so now we've done that we've kind of got our our sort of graduation going on then we can start bringing this down so bring in this down here and let's make the brush a little bit bigger and then let's just start painting from the top of the dark area we just painted bringing it down and again what this is going to do this is going to blend for us so let's focus in on this there's a bit here that i want to blend in a little bit so again let's go back to circles there we go and let's just make this brush bigger and in fact i'm going to push this up a little bit more there we go and i'm just going to make this brush bigger and just fade that a little bit there so if we now look at that you can see that it's blended a lot lot better and it's it's almost following a natural line there of where that light was kind of falling so what we want to do then is do that to the rest of the horse the areas that need it so again down here this will help because we've got still got um quite quite a hard edge there so let's start working this area as well making the brush bigger again just to soften it and I think the opacity and flow needs to come down a little bit around this area here so we're just blending there we go so we can see there that that's blended in really nice now so I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger I'm going to bring this flow and this opacity down again and do what we've done a minute ago and just start bringing that black into the picture a little bit more and this is just going to give you a nice graduation of, of black there from the the horse and the background. So it's going to be a little bit more realistic. You just want to really take your time with this. Just think about how the light would naturally fall. Okay, so it'd be darker under the under the chin there, the horse more, wouldn't it? So you can see there that that's looking a little bit more natural now, isn't it? There around around them areas so the the hair as well here some of this will need fixing we can see that again we can just go around the edges so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push this up a little bit so let's just darken them edges okay and let's work under the chin here just repeating that same process okay and you just got to trust that process because when you're doing it halfway through it looks like you've completely messed up but you haven't it's just where that is just starting to blend nicely as you can see that's happening now okay thinking about circles as well as lines I'm doing lines on this because the way the natural the way the hair is naturally um, growing down so lines make sense with this so that looks pretty good um, now actually this is not too bad around here I don't mind that it could it could be blended a little bit better um, but it's okay you could leave that and uh, and get away with that but let's just blend it a little bit so again circles is working for me on this at the minute making the brush bigger and it's starting to get there there okay so you can continue that and continue that round. I'm going to get rid of this ear so because I don't think it's working. I'm just going to push the opacity and flow up to 100 and then just, just darken that out. So that's all we need to do. Okay, and then just bring the flow right down and the opacity right down and then just blend that, blend that in. So you can see there the hair is actually um, quite easy to do because there's, there's, there's sort of refined edges of that anyway. Um, you just need to be think about how the hair flows in your particular picture um, because you don't really like say so you don't want the hard edges like here okay but we're still going to do some um, some editing on this so it's not finished yet but yeah I just want to soften that so making the brush a little bit bigger circles again and you can see that's starting to blend and same up here as well so I want to take this hard hard edge away okay so I'm, I'm quite happy with that so what I'm going to do now is go to file and then I'm going to select save 
and that's going to bring it back into Lightroom for us. So there we go. Now we've got our picture in Lightroom. Now what we want to do is we want to start thinking about the color. So if you wanted it to be a color picture, then you wouldn't want to just leave it as it is because the, the, the way the light's naturally hitting this horse, you wouldn't have a dark background. So you'd need to color grade it. So the easiest and quickest way would be to use a preset. So you can use one from Lightroom or you can use one of mine if you've got my presets. You can see there now we color grade it, it starts to look a little bit better. And again, that's all down to the fact that, that it's to do with the light. So what we're now doing is creating contrast with color rather than with the, the tones. So we could leave it as that if we wanted to. I did do it in black and white. I used one of mine. So I'm going to come up to my presets and try and remember which one I used. I think it was something like Dark Blood, I believe, or Dark Loud. I think it's Dark Blood. Um, and then from here, I then done some dodge and burn. So you can see uh, before I go on to that, though, that Dark Blood, what it's done. So if, we, if, I, if I just come back a couple of steps, you'll see what I mean when I talk about when I when I imported that so like the hair here if we look at if I come in a little bit so I've not done that perfect at all and I can see that because I know once I had a preset these are going to be darkened anyway so that's that just comes with experience so if, if you see there look it's actually encroached in and it blends and it, and you can see kind of the the method of why I was doing it um, painting that brush so you can see here what that's done here. It's given us a nice blend along the nose, down here, and all around the hair, okay? So let's select the brush tool. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna do some dodge and burn. So I'm gonna start with the face. And I all I'm gonna do is look for the natural light areas. So the areas where the light is falling and also where there is white on the horse. So we know that the horse has got a white nose and a bit of a white mouth down there there is some white here which is just where the light is fading but we're going to take advantage of that um, and let's make our brush a little bit smaller around the eye up here okay there that looks pretty good so what i'm going to do now is take the overlay off come up to where it says effect and then come down to where it says dodge which is lighten and we can then if we want to just push that exposure up a little bit more if we want it to be a little bit more dramatic so we can do that let's create another mask set the brush tool and now this time i'm going to look at the darker areas but mainly across where the main is because the main is the sort of center of attention of this shot so i'm going to make sure the brush is is fairly big because the smaller we make that brush, you can see the more intense them select that selection will be. So we want it to be quite soft. So let's have a look at these areas here. And then what I'm going to do is take the overlay off so I can see. Come up to effect again and this time we're going to go to burn. And this time we can change the exposure again, make it darker. There we go. I would probably actually do another selection with the brush tool and just come in onto the eye and try and brighten that a little bit. It is quite dark, so I don't think we're gonna be able to bring a lot back. Let's take the overlay off and let's just try pushing that exposure up and let's bring the whites up. Now the black, sometimes when you do that, it goes matte, which you can see there. So try and avoid that and the shadows as well. So look at the highlights. Yeah, we just need to be very careful. We don't overexpose it to the point where it goes gray. So that looks pretty good to me. There we go. So let's just add some contrast. So come to the tone curve, just add some medium contrast there. And we can also adjust it here if we want to as well. You could bring up some of the shadows as well. You can see here, that's that's quite a lot of control. The problem is, is that there isn't a mid-tone selection in here. So a quick way, of doing that is to actually go to color grading and use the mid-tones because mid-tones is your obviously your mid-tones and then you can use the luminance slider which is in fact uh, brightness so we can brighten the mid-tones there which can help a lot just to really refine the shot 
So yeah, you just literally play around with this until you're really, really happy. I would tinker about for quite a while until I'm absolutely happy with everything and making sure that it all looks nice and perfect. That is how you do it. So you can see there, that is from bringing it in from Photoshop. That's the final result. I've gone in quite heavy on the nose there. Again, it's um, it all comes down to time really and me doing this. But you can see there you get quite a nice effect. But that's how you blend. That's how you do it. Can't wait to see your images. I hope that's helped. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.